The last concept that we're going to talk about in, the, in this unit is percent yield. And like any percent, we're always going to take the part divided by the whole. Well, when we're talking about percent yield, we have to actually discuss two other terms, the theoretical yield and the actual yield. The theoretical yield is the maximum amount of product that can form from a certain amount of reactants. So from the available reactants. Another way of thinking about the theoretical yield is the stoichiometric calculations. This is the stoichiometry. So when you do a mass-to-mass -mass problem where you are given, say, uh, 15 grams of this and 20 grams of this and asked to find how much it's going to form, what you're doing is you're calculating what's called a theoretical yield. The actual yield is a little bit different. The actual yield is what you get when the experiment is actually performed. So it's the amount of product when the experiment is conducted or when the reaction is run. For our purposes, that's either going to be provided or you're going to do it in the lab. The actual yield will always, always, always be less than the theoretical yield. You can't make more than you have the materials to make it with. So when we're looking at our equation, to calculate percent yield, we're going to take our actual yield divided by our theoretical. And again, just as a reminder, theoretical will always be bigger. If it's not bigger, then you're not doing it the right way. We'll then multiply that value by 100 to get our percent yield. Now, in some types of problems, the percent yield you want in the high 90s. In some type of reactions, however, you never get that high of a reaction. And that can go down to a number of factors. Um, most reactions have an optimal range that they like to, op or to react in. So for example, a certain temperature, a certain pressure, a certain humidity. And when you have conditions that aren't those optimal values, you end up getting less product formed than you had anticipated through the uh, stoichiometry. So here's a problem we're going to try out. A reaction was predicted to produce 32.4 grams of a compound. When the product was measured, there were only 26.1 grams made. What is the percent yield of this reaction? Looking at this problem here, we have two numbers, and we have to figure out those parts. Again, remember, percent yield is equal to actual over theoretical times 100. So now we need to label our actual and our theoretical. Well, theoretical would go along with the word predicted. And so that number is 32.4. 26.1 is what was actually made when the product was measured. So this is our actual. Here's our theoretical. Actual 26.1 divided by theoretical 32.4 times 100. Our answer comes out to 80.56% yield. And that is how you solve percent yield problems.